by the Indian Wordsworth Roskin Bond called well, The Eyes Have It. Well, come, let's born with Roskin. of the very fact that he was black. Actually, I'm getting off at Saharanpur. My aunt is meeting me there. Then I'll not get too familiar. Aunts are usually formidable creatures. <laughs> By the way, where are you going? To there I am then to Masuri. Oh, how lucky you are. I wish I were going to Masuri. I love the hills, especially in October. Yes. This is the best time. The hills are covered in white dahlias. The sun is delicious. And at night, you can sit in front of a log of fire and enjoy a cup of coffee. The girl sealed her lips. The blind man wondered if the girl would assume the man to be a mere romantic fool or did his words actually touch her heart. The blind man then made a grave mistake by questioning, What is it like outside? Why don't you look it for yourself? The young man pretends to gaze outside. He could hear multiple sounds in and outside the carriage. Yeah, have you ever noticed that the trees outside seem to be moving while we here seem to be standing still? Well, that's pretty but obvious. Animals. Do you see any animals? Um, <coughs> no. Let you know, there aren't many animals left in the Buddha there, no? The blind man uses his presence of mind to keep his blindness under wraps and also appear smart at the same time. <clears throat> Would you mind if I say something to you? No, not at all. You have an interesting face. Oh, that's nice to be told that I have an interesting face. I'm tired of people telling me that I have a pretty face. Well, um, well you do. 
An interesting face. Can you also make a pretty face, I suppose. You are a very young, gallant man. But why are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> we will sit at the station. Thank goodness it's a short journey. I can't bear to sit in the train for more than a couple of hours. By now, the young man had started liking the girl more than playing his guest game. And now, they had reached the Zaranpur station. Passengers, kindly pay attention. The train has reached Zaranpur Junction. Oh, there you are. Did you have a safe travel? I hope you did not have a nuisance from me. The youngsters these days, I tell you. <laughs> Mesmerized by the scent of the girl's perfume, he wondered the hairstyle the girl wore. Meanwhile, there was near chaos going on. A man stammering an apology. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. No problem. Ready to play the guest game again? <laughs>